Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with Mr. John Sterling. How are you doing, sir? Ready for round two. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. So you you uh, you became known to my audience by taking the 50-year spreadsheet, making it 52, and then adding dozens of critical economic uh, variables, which I greatly appreciate. We just updated the spreadsheet with latest June numbers, which I really appreciate. But now we are going to introduce something that you are working on called the ORAT or One Rental at a Time Property Analyzer. It is an access database. So this goes way beyond Excel. And uh, let's be clear, some of you are going to look at this and be afraid. Totally okay. Excel is fine. But for some of you, you're going to geek out about using a database to help uh, evaluate properties in your buy box. Uh, so, you know, John, you want to say anything about this project that you've tackled all by yourself and you're going sure. to give away? before uh, we look at it? A little background on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the purpose uh, for developing this database is to help the investor identify a great deal from the buy box list of properties. Not just one, mm -hmm. the entire list. Got it. Consideration factors. The database has three consideration factors that help determine if an offer should be made on a prospective deal. Mm -hmm. Monthly cash flow, either it exceeds the set goal or it's insufficient. I like it. Um, purchase price offer, either it's at a discount or it's overpriced. I like it. Uh, return on investment, the percentage for the return on investment must be considered a good or great deal. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do great deals. So that's what we're after. That is awesome. For this uh, round, I've done a lot of updates. Yeah. Uh, Application updates, uh, we've added discount points. We've added uh, private mortgage insurance, PMI. There you go, that's cool. Uh, we separated the program data file uh, from the program file. Okay. And what that allows you to do is to back up the data separately. Mm. There you go. And if I do an upgrade on the uh, program, they don't have to change their data. Oh, that's nice, okay. Uh, I fixed the code for meeting all three criteria. Uh, the colors now change dynamically as they should. And I added a second report showing the entire buy box list of properties. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. Yes. And uh, for those of you out there who do not have the professional version of Microsoft Access, uh -huh. I've uh, created an ACCDE file so that you can run it if you have the runtime version of Access. And folks, so, if you don't know what he just said, it's okay. I don't either. <laughs> All right. And with that, I guess we can get started here. Yeah, let's uh, let's see this thing. You have control. All All right. You you have the con, I think is what they say on Star Trek. There you go. All right. Do you see this screen here? I do. Yeah, it's a list of files. All right. Here we go. All right. There's your snap <laughs> screen. <laughs> I like that. And it opens up uh, to our title page. I like that. Okay. It also shows you the directory in which it's running. Okay. All right. All right. So defaults. I've made some changes here. All right. Uh, kind of divided things up a bit. So you can see your deal percentages here from 10 down to five. And these are, in, these are in just so I... I learn in the audience, these are input screens. Like you could change great to 12 if you wanted right here. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Default settings, everything here. Got it. Okay. Uh, put in some mortgage data. You can uh, change this to zero points. Mm -hmm. And the result is now you're back to 6.5%. Got it. But if you go uh, add four points, for example, now that lowers your interest rate down to 6.0. Okay. So that's like uh, going to be reflected for any property that you're going to examine. I love how you're taking what I talk about on the channel and just bringing it to this. What, what, what are you doing here? About six or eight weeks ago, it was really a conversation with Matt, the mortgage guy, uh, that the light bulb went off that we all need to be getting the sellers to pay for points to buy down rates. So thank you for adding that. That's, that's important. Yes. Uh, for that very reason, that video... I put that in there. It's another good consideration factor anyway. We needed yeah. it uh, on that spreadsheet uh, or the report. That's awesome. Okay, so data input. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, before I get there, mm -hmm. these are just the other uh, 
uh, default values that we have set mm -hmm. for property all, all management, vacancy, yeah. CapEx, mm -hmm. and the monthly cash flow. That's a key one right yes. there. Yes. Yeah. And that's going to be, again, targets. I'm guessing that's 35 off of gross, which would be rent in here in this case. Right. Cool. Right off the, the rent. You get 35%, uh, you meet the goal. Yeah. And it could be 20. It could be whatever you want it to be. But yeah, in this case, it's 35. Got it. Exactly. Perfect. A uh, couple more things I've added. Uh, the ability to reattach tables. You press I, this button and it'll redo that. These are I, attached tables to I have the no data idea. file. I have no idea what that means. What does that mean? The data file has your buy box data. Ah, okay. Right. And your defaults in there. Okay. All the rest of this uh, stuff that you see here that uh, may scare some people mm. is a part of the program. You don't have to worry about it. It does all the work. Okay. Got it. Then you can run a data backup and... You just say backup data, and it gives you a folder uh, choice it. to go put the data. So for those of it, folks that don't know, I, this would be like a worksheet in Excel, that what you just did. Like it would save a version or a snapshot. It would save the, the entire data file. Yeah. Got yeah. It. Okay. All right. So on to data input. <laughs> 1818 North Drive. <laughs> yes. I know Your that favorite. property. I know that one. <laughs> Your favorite place in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, that was the first property I ever bought. I, I don't own it anymore, but I'll always remember the first. So these are all the uh, input fields. I love how the, you've uh, added database. days. You've added days on market. Again, you're adding stuff that we talk about on the channel. That's just so cool. And you got the uh, monthly PMI, or you've got, uh, um, let me see, what's the, yeah, this one here would be a one time. Okay. Single payment. Okay. Uh, for PMI. Mm -hmm. And I found that that has a major impact. I'm sure. Because your uh, uh, monthly cost is going to take a hit. Mm -hmm. If you're not paying a 20% uh, loan to value. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, you're going to take a hit with that. Absolutely. Yeah. PMI. But some people cash can't cash. qualify without it. No. So there you go. There you go. All right, on to calculations. Mm -hmm. Oh, first, the new uh, the new report for the buy box. Oh, I got to see this. There you go. Uh, that that is this is what I was hoping would come out, right? Because this is something I could print out, I could sketch, I could write notes. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, we need to do some updates in here. You need to give me the right uh, address for Terrace <laughs> and you, Clinton. Oh, you got. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you pay attention. That is awesome. Those are, those are property. I think it was number three and five were Terrace and Clinton. I think I don't remember the order, but yeah, that's funny. I don't know. I don't own any of these anymore, but that's funny. Anyway, I, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I too. did. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've made some changes here. As you okay. can see, yeah. we have uh, this box here of expenses. Okay. And only three fields in which you enter. Because again, these are all being calculated from your data setup or defaults. From these queries, these powerful queries that I've set up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And now you have your uh, three areas of uh, considerations, mm -hmm. your monthly cash flow, okay. either it exceeds or it's exactly. insufficient. So okay. if you come in here and let's make this 1100 on your rent, yeah. you can imagine what it's going to do. Bam. <laughs> bad, bad deal. Alli alligator. Bad alligator. Deal. Yes. <laughs> no good. You don't want that. No good. No good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Discount. Let's say you take this to 166. Overpriced. Yeah, and again, this is based on my thought that, or at least, again, this is my personal process today. You use it if you want. I'm only looking at days on market now over 30 for a while at 15, and I will not be offering list price. That's what this is. Yeah, uh, everything turns red. Warning. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing, investor. silly? Yeah, warning to the investor. <laughs> yeah. Now you can, but I won't be doing that. Right. Okay. So uh, down here is a... Uh, uh, identification if you've got a great deal or not. Mm -hmm. So if you took this down to 13, let's see what we get. 
Now it's insufficient. Let's go 1,200. There Poor deal. <laughs> and again, that's all set up with your defaults. Yes. The defaults are now kicking in. You can see how it's working dynamically. Mm -hmm. Now we got an average deal, 1250. For yeah, the so go back to defaults for me, please. The, the, those deal percentages, folks, again, what I'm trying to teach is I'm trying to give you a skill to learn average. That's all I'm trying to do. Then it is up to you. Once you know average, you make what good and great are. You make what fair, poor, and bad are. It's, I can teach... The, the work, the focus, the daily discipline, the buy box, all of these things uh, that John and I are going through, the repetition, the consistency it is all to give you the power to understand average in your buy box. Once you have that, the world's your oyster. You can go, you can go crazy from there. All right, back to here. Calculations, we'll go back to 1400. Mm -hmm. Everything meets yep. our criteria for a great deal, mm -hmm. print preview, bam, there's the report that you can turn out <laughs> for this property. Wow, again, you could take this, like if you were doing, you know, you had five or six properties you were gonna go walk through, you could print this out, take this with you, sketch on it, and then update it later. It's, yeah. I like it. So can select a different property like Norris <laughs> and then print that one. Yeah, pretty cool. Just that fast. And then show me the summary view again, all, all five properties or whatever it was. Okay. Uh, that's back on the data tab. Data input for your buy box. Mm -hmm. Print preview. There you go. There's your list of all the properties. I love that. In your buy box that you've loaded. Yeah. yeah you can yeah. have 40, 50 of them loaded or 200 loaded. It's up to you. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, uh, so our intention again, John, is to give this away, which means we're going to load it into the free course, uh, put it as a bonus section, I, I suppose. Maybe we'll, I don't know where we're going to put it actually, because I want to make sure people have the vocabulary. So it'll probably be a bonus section in the paid course now that I think about it, but it will be given away to everybody. Um, it's going to be an access database. So if this is too advanced for you, it's okay. But some of you are just going to love what John's done for us. Um, yeah, this, this is fun to think about the possibilities. I was up all last night trying to finish it up before today's meeting. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, kind of what do you think are next steps, just so people understand where we're going with this? Well, um, first you have your buy box of prospective properties mm -hmm. to purchase. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the future, and I have to think about this for a while, how I'm going to do it. Mm. I might add uh, your existing properties that you have. Interesting. So and like, uh, yeah, do some could, calculations on that. That could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, that could be fun. That way I can convert all my Excel spreadsheets and put it into here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Self-serving. <laughs> Self-serving, yep. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, thank you for doing this, folks. John and I will uh, work out over the next week or so how I can get the files, how I can upload them. We'll test them on my side, and then we will announce when they are available for everyone else. John, I really appreciate you. This is days and days, weeks and weeks you're doing this for us. Greatly appreciate it. And again, folks, if this scares you, and I know it scares some of you, it's okay. Excel in the course, very simple. But some of you are going to love what John has here. Uh, any kind of closing thoughts as we wrap up this video? No, that's it. Uh, I've uh, enjoyed getting this out. I was ho hopeful I could get it done before this morning. I was able to do so. So yeah, you made, nailed it. Made right. me happy. Dude, that is awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you for doing this. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Same to you. Thank you, buddy.